Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I'm going to talk about Identica, namely a new feature that I found via a third-party uh, program or application which enables you to use track functionality. Now if you have watched my Twitter foo or how I use Twitter video, you know that one of the things that I really loved about Twitter was the ability to track terms and the ability to you know use the entire Twitterverse as my own personal information you know information funnel where I can filter out all the all the terms or filter in all the terms that I want to I want to hear and possibly filter out things in the near future now Twitter has disabled that feature for about a month and a half to two months now and uh, <clears throat> that was one of the big things I got out of Twitter so that was one of my reasons for for actually you know taking a hiatus from it so right now I'm on Identica using that day-to-day -day following it and uh, I noticed a few users talking about track on Identica so in this video I'm going to show you how to implement that first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have uh, the Jabberbot set up in Identica I believe that's done in settings and in IM so here's where you can set up that particular uh, Jabber uh, address and uh, you'll, your screen will look different from mine but it's fairly simple you have to add the Jabberbot to your list first and then you add it here and I believe it sends you a confirmation message so that's pretty simple so after you've done that the next thing you need to do is to set it up um, a new user in your Jabber now in mine I, I'm using Adium which is a fairly common Jabber client on Mac OS X. But if you're on Windows, there's Pigeon uh, and a ton of others. There's Google Talk, obviously. And uh, But I want to talk about um, Adium. What you need to do is add the user laconica at west.spy.net. And you do that within, within Adium just by going to the contact menu and add new user. And you just put in that particular address and that's pretty much all you need to do and I just set up an alias called identify and once I've done that let's go ahead and minimize this window for a second I have a a gtalk window here or a jabber window here with my identis identica I was gonna call it identify with my identica feed within XMPP and I can update and actually reply here just like I could in Twitter so I'm gonna say recording a quick demonstration of Identispy for Buona.tv. Oops, I made a mistake. This is actually the Identispy window. I need to do this in the Identica window. And this is uh, something that's coming, actually. So I'm going to put that in the Identica window. And now, this should come across in Identica. So over in the Identus Spy window, I can send help for known commands. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the commands are pretty simple. You can add a service that you can post to. This is a new feature that I'm not going to dwell on too much because it was just added. Auto post is another new feature. But the main ones I want to talk about is off and on where you can disable and enable updates. And also to track topic and also list the terms that you have tracked so I'm gonna go ahead and type tracks and it will show me all of the topics that I have I'm tracking is down Apple Buona Buona.tv friend feed iPhone rejaw Twitter and XMPP now I don't have a whole lot just yet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new track term for identify so now it tells me that it's tracking identify and uh, I'm going to go to the website here, just a second, bring it back up. And I'm going to type using Identispy on Jabber XMPP for a demo. Now, I hope my users will understand my spamming this message, but I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes. So I sent that. And let me minimize this again. So now in the Identispy window, you see that actually I have two messages now. I have the, the recording of a quick demonstration of Identispy for Buona.tv and also 
using identispy on Jabber XMPP4 demo. So anything that comes across with any of these terms will now be available in the identispy window. Now identispy has been a hot topic on um, on the Gilmore Gang and other you know social talk shows and websites because it's a feature that's missing from Twitter that Identica is now enabling in the form of uh, in the form of you know Identispy. Now the the thing that that's really controversial is that you know this the guy who wrote Identispy actually wrote Twitter Spy, which is sitting on top of some eyes. If you're familiar with any of these terms, if you're not familiar with any of these terms, don't worry about it. It's not terribly important. But, you know, since Twitter turned off the Jabber XMPP feed, you know, this guy really had to go around and hack to get the functionality back. But on Identica, he was able to add it very quickly because with Identica, anybody has direct access to the XMPP feed. So I would recommend you give this a try because I mean Identica is adding new features daily and uh, it's gonna be something that I, I think that's gonna change uh, the way we use these services just by showing the power of how many features you can add using an open source platform in, in a short amount of time. You gotta recall Identica hasn't been out for not even two months yet and uh, it's already pretty much have all of Twitter's key features uh, without SMS but everything else it pretty much has and it's adding more daily so if you want to use track in Identica here's how you do it alright this is Buona from Buona.tv and this is Identica's track using Identispy